Ever. Hey, Joe. What's up? Same with me. I'm just waiting for my dad and sister to come back. I know. She's way too old for trick-or-treating. She's already 14. Yeah, my dad is just wasting his time. I'll be right back. Someone just rung my doorbell. That's weird. It's coming from the basement. Is anyone down here? Oops. Oh my god! You killed her! It was an accident. I thought it was a stunt knife. This isn't happening! We have to call 911! Are you crazy? We'll go to jail. Tatum is right, Joe. If we tell anyone, we'll get in trouble. What are we going to do? I have an idea. This is perfect. When the police get here, they'll think she was raped. They'll never suspect us. This is so disgusting. I can't believe we're doing this. We have to do this, Joe. I don't want to go to jail. We should leave now. Kenzie's dad will be home soon. Let's make a break for it.
Kenzie, we're home. A tragedy happened tonight in the town of Hattonfield. 15-year-old Kenzie Myers was raped and murdered by her own father, Michael Myers. He has been put in a mental hospital where he'll spend the rest of his life. Wow, this worked out well for us. This is horrible. We murdered his daughter and wrecked his life. Someone had to take the fall. Yeah, better him than us. We cannot tell anyone about this. They'll put us in jail. Do you all swear to never tell anyone? I swear. I'll take this to the grave. I swear too. Joe, you better not tell anyone either. I won't. But this will come back for us one day. All the patients are fine, but keep a close eye on Michael Myers. Is he getting better at all? He hasn't said a word since that night. He hasn't taken off the mask either. Gosh. Well, I'll make sure to watch him. Have a nice night. Michael, are you all right? I came here to check on you.
Hey, Mom and Dad. What's up? Your father and I are going out of town for five days. Don't throw any parties while we're gone. Why would I do that? Because tomorrow is Halloween, remember? Bye, Joe. Watch the house while we're gone. Hey, Jill. How are you doing? Tomorrow is Halloween, Kirby. It's been one year. Please don't bring that up, Joe. Let's just go to school. Dr. Loomis, what are you doing here? Your town is in danger. Michael Myers is here. Why would he be coming here? Because this is his home. You must find him before he kills someone else. He's already killed a nurse at the hospital. He has escaped. I'm sorry, Dr. Loomis, but the Force has more important stuff to worry about. Fine. I'll take care of this myself. What the hell? Joe! Stop looking out the window! Hi, Joe and Dodger. Are you walking home with us? Kirby and I are going to get some ice cream later. Want to come with? I wish I could, but I have to stay after school and work on my science paper. I can't either. My dad has me working late again because we're under staff. By the way, something creepy happened during class. What happened? I saw a man in a mask outside. Makes sense, since it's almost Halloween. But he was wearing the same mask you wore that night, Tatum. Please don't bring this up again. Girls, I think someone knows. But that's impossible. We were so careful that night. Joe, you're being paranoid. 
They sell that mask all over the country. Every kid has one. Besides, people already know the truth anyway. Kenzie was raped and murdered by her father, Michael Myers. Tatum, you know that's not true. You know what really happened. It doesn't matter what's true. That's what people think happened. Someone else must have been there that night. I think you're scared because you feel guilty about what happened. It was just an accident, Joe. But we killed her, and we put her back in bed to make it look like she was raped, and we ruined her father's life. Would you rather have us take the fall? Can we just forget about it? It's dead and buried. Yeah, it's creeping me out anyway. I told you guys it would come back for us. I don't care what you think, Joe. The rest of us are going on with our lives. Tatum, here comes your boyfriend. Hey, Tatum, what's wrong with Joe? Don't mind him. He's just having a bad day. Can I come over to your place tomorrow night? Yeah, my parents will be gone all night. Sweet, I can't wait. Kirby, why are you being so quiet? I'm starting to think that everything Joe said was true. Maybe someone else really knows. Not you too, Kirby. Everyone knows that Kenzie's dad murdered her. But that's not what really happened, Tatum. How could anyone else see us that night? It was just the four of us. Someone else must have saw us run out of that house after we killed her. That's impossible. There was no one else there. How do you explain that creepy guy Joe saw at class? It was just a guy in a mask, which just so happened to be the same one I had. Get a grip, Kirby. You're being paranoid, too. You're right. You have mail. Is anyone there?
I gotta get out of here. What the hell? Why won't this door open? Damn it! This one's locked too! Okay, Dodger. I'm leaving. Make sure to lock up the store once your shift is over. Okay. Bye, Dad. What was that? Is anyone else here? Kirby, are you there? Please pick up the phone. Hey, Joe. Why are you calling so early? Someone knows what we did. We're all in danger. Joe, we went over this already. No one else knows. But someone does. I was attacked at the library last night. It was probably just a prank. You're being paranoid again. No, it wasn't. We're all in danger. We must stay together tonight. Okay. You can come over to my house right now if you want to. What about Tatum and Dodger? I tried texting Dodger last night, but she never responded. I wonder why she didn't. I'm not sure, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'll be over at your house in 20 minutes. Bye. See ya. Who would be evil enough to do something like this? 
Do you believe me now? You have to warn everyone in town that Michael Myers is on the loose. I can't do that. It'll cause panic all over town. You can't be serious. One girl is already dead. He's going to strike again. You need to do something. I'll have a couple of officers patrol the area. Only a couple? You need to issue a manhunt. I'm sorry, Dr. Loomis, but it hasn't gotten that serious yet. You have to help me look for him, then. Hey, Joe. Are Tatum and Dodger coming over? Tatum is with her boyfriend tonight, but they live right down the street. We can go there if anything bad happens. Okay. Were you ever able to get a hold of Dodger? No. I even tried calling her, but she never responded. I think something horrible happened to her. While I was walking here, I saw a whole bunch of police cars around the store she works at. That doesn't mean anything. Maybe the store was just broken into. Nothing happened to Dodger. Then why isn't she replying to your text? You have to believe me. Someone else knows. And if they got Dodger, they'll come after us next. Joe, just let it go. Dodger's cell phone battery probably died. That's why she's not responding. I think someone killed Dodger. This is getting annoying, Dr. Loomis. We checked all over the neighborhood, and he still hasn't shown up yet. We haven't checked this house. This house has been deserted all year. Why on earth would he be here? Because this is his home. There's no one here at all. Let's check upstairs. This is where it happened. He raped and murdered his own daughter here. Was he always dangerous? Yes, I remember the first night I met him. He had a pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. Why do you think he's killing everyone? I think he's blaming the town for his daughter's death, even though he was the one who really killed her. What are we going to do? I'll wait here. He's gone now, but I know he'll come back. You go and search for him. Okay, Dr. Loomis. But I sure hope we find him.
I have to go, Tatum. My parents want me home by 9 p.m. Okay. I love you. I love you too, Tatum. So, Joe, what happened at school yesterday when you were attacked? I told you. There was some crazy guy there with a knife who tried to kill me. He chased me all over school. Did you see what he looked like? No. He was wearing a mask. The same one Tatum has. It was Tatum. Playing a mean joke on you. Where are you going? I'm going to call Tatum and give her a piece of my mind. She shouldn't be playing pranks on you like that. Hey Tatum, this is Kirby. I'm calling about that joke you played on Joe. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. We both know it was you. What joke? I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Hello? Tatum? Are you there? What happened? I heard her scream. It's just Tatum playing another stupid prank on us. Something isn't right. I'm going to go check on her. No, don't. She's just trying to scare you again. But something seriously isn't right. I need to see if she's okay. Tatum, are you here?
Oh my god! Tatum! Please help me. Oh my god, what happened? It's Michael Myers. Tatum's dead. He's here. He's going to kill us. Are the doors locked? The back door isn't. What are you guys doing here? There's a killer on the loose. We're trying to catch him. He was here. He killed Tatum, and now he's going to kill Joe. Where do you think he is? I think I know. Please, someone help me! Please leave me alone! He's gone. I gotta get out of here. Please, leave me alone! Was that the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was.